Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Did you all watch the debate last night? If you watched the debate last night, you already know to keep on praying. Keep praying for this nation. Keep praying for the hearts of men. Keep praying for what's to come. Keep praying. You know what? I've been saying that the world is in trouble. We in trouble. But you know what? I'm not going to say it anymore. Those that are lost that are in trouble. But those that know Jesus, you ain't in trouble. You you safe. So keep praying for keep praying for the hearts of men that they will turn their hearts to Christ. Because our only hope is in Jesus. All right, I'm gonna um be uh taking down my hair. Oh, let me get a thing. And um, Lord, I hope this video let me talk a little bit. But um moisturizing my hair i have some really really good news the first good news uh is jesus is still in control and on the throne and he's still saving lives that's the first good news this morning the second thing i want to talk to you all about y'all god has answered prayer i have finally got relief i'm so excited you, you all, I spent yesterday literally crying. I'm so excited about my knee, about the pain I've been suffering with my knee. Okay, I'm trying to make this fast because my thing going to go off. Uh, what I'm doing my hair with, I will be using 100% African Shea Butter Creamy. And I will be also putting some black castor oil coconut. Okay? All right. You all know, for the past two months, I've been going to this doctor about my knee. He's told me I had arthritis in my knee. That's what was causing the pain. I've took several shots. I've took steroid shots. I've had an MRI. I've had about, practically about everything that can be done. I, that can be done, tested on my knee. To no avail. My knee is still in the same shape it was the very first day I went into that doctor's office. Um... Oh, this is water and glycerin. This is what glycerin is. You can buy this at Walmart or CVS. Water and glycerin. Okay. So, my knee still in the same condition. Still pain running down to my knee. I go back to work Thursday. I'm scheduled to go back to work um, October the 1st, which is Thursday. You all. Okay. So... After all, y'all, you all know I had my MRI done, didn't show nothing. They said just seal arthritis. So my doctor, now this is one good thing he did do. He referred me to get therapy. I was very disappointed in receiving therapy because I felt like, what is therapy gonna do? Therapy is for people that's recovering from something. I haven't, I'm not recovering from anything, but reluctantly, but still, I just, I made a choice. Okay, I'll go to therapy. So my first therapy appointment was supposed to be two weeks uh, from last week. So I wasn't supposed to go to therapy till mid-October sometime. So, the lady yesterday, the receptionist yesterday, the therapist's office, she called me. She said, we have a, someone, uh, uh, someone didn't come to the appointment. Someone rescheduled. So, she asked me, did I want to come in and take that person's place? First, I said no. Because, you know, I'm not really excited about going or anything. Then, I said, you know what? Let me change that. I'm going to go ahead and go. So, I called her back and I, um, went to the uh, therapist appointment. Let me tell y'all, so I thank God for therapists. I thank God for therapists. Good morning, Anna Bread. Um, so there go my um, shea butter and my coconut oil. I got, I'm gonna mix those two together. So I thank God for therapy, you all. When I tell you all, God is so good. God will um, provide a way, Lord. I hope they can't hear you urinating because she's so he's urinating in the middle of my video on it. <laughs> but anyway, you all, um, 
less than five minutes when I met the therapist, I think, what was his name? Tim, I think that's his name. Less than five minutes when I met the therapist, you all. Come wash your hands. Less than five minutes. Uh-oh, let me move that. Less than five minutes. Uh-oh, put your finger there. There you go. Here we go. Less than five minutes. Good job. Less than five minutes, you all, from me meeting the therapist. So he asked me what's been going on. So I told him everything that's been going on. Less than five minutes, you all, this man, guess what he's going to tell me? He said, you may have arthritis. He said, you have arthritis. Uh-oh, I'm sorry, baby. He said, you have arthritis. But he said, arthritis has nothing to do with this pain that you're going through. I said, what? He said, no. He said, your problem is you have a pulled muscle in your inner thigh. And he said, the, the muscle in your inner thigh is connected to your knee up towards your hip. He said, and that's why you feel the pain. Go get your paper towel in the kitchen, baby. He said, that's why you feel this pain that's releasing in your knee. He said it has nothing to do with arthritis. He said it's this muscle that's in your inner thigh. Remember you all I was telling you? It's a pulling in my inner thigh. The pain goes down to my knee. It's not, it don't have nothing to do with my arthritis. Or the, that, that pain is coming from this pulled muscle in my inner thigh. Y'all, when that man told me that, and when he began to... Uh, uh, touch my inner thigh with his hand. He said, does that hurt? I, let me tell y'all. When he was touched, I said, yes. Tears come out my eye. It hurt so bad when he just put his hand and began to press my inner thigh. He said, that's your issue. He said, you have a pulled muscle in this inner thigh and it's releasing the pain down to your knee. Y'all, I cried. I per cried, you all, because that's exactly what it was. So let me tell you all, Lord, she went back and laid down, praise God. <laughs> so let me tell you all, I pure cried. He told me, he said, ma'am, what we're going to do? He said, I'm going to massage your inner thigh. He said, I'm going to give you some electric shocks to your muscle and put a heat pad on it. And he said, then they put some kind of cream. I forgot the name of the cream. It was, a cold, it was cold, but it was some type of cream to uh, loosen up my muscle. Let me tell y'all, that massage that he was given to my inner thigh, you know, said that's my inner thigh, he had to press on it and rub it. Let me, it hurt so bad. I cried, you all. I was, it hurt so bad. He said, ma'am, I know I'm hurting you, but I gotta massage this muscle and loosen it up. And it hurt so bad, you all. I was crying. He said, I'm so sorry I'm making you cry today. But he massaged that inner muscle. They put a warm heat pad on it and hooked it up to this machine where it was sending like little electric shots to my muscle. And then he, at the end, he put this cold cream on it. This cream on it that turned cold. He said it was going to help my inner muscle. When I tell you all, when I left that doctor's office feeling, I would say 90% better. Because I've been in so much pain, you all. I've been walking a certain way. I walk sort of with a limp like that because I don't want to put too much pressure on this thigh because it shoots down that pain to my knee. When I see it, I have to sit a certain way. I have to turn a certain way. Everything I've been doing for, for months now and even for years is because I've been trying to avoid the pain that I have constantly felt with this pain in my inner, it's coming from my inner thigh down to my knee. Yesterday, I was still doing that because I've been doing it so long, you all. But I said, you know, I don't have to do that because I feel a little relief. I feel a little relief. Now, there's still a little bit pain right around the top of my knee. But as far as this inside pain that I feel, I don't have that like it was before, you all. I can tell a difference from that one therapy that one um, therapy treatment that I went to, I'm telling y'all, I cried. I thank God for sending me to the right person. You know, allow me to go to that therapist. And in five minutes, you know, and I told him, I said, you know, the, the other doctor was telling me that I couldn't have had a pull muscle because I wasn't because I wasn't an athlete. He said, that's ridiculous. He said, anybody can get a pull muscle. I said, you, I said, well, how? You reckon I got this? He said, you can get a pull muscle any kind of way. He said, you can stand or turn. He said, anything can cause it. 
So, y'all, I've been suffering. And let me tell you something. Let me say this here. Lord, don't let this video turn off. When you plus size, when you're a plus size person and you suffer with anything, they automatically contribute to your weight. And don't get me wrong. I know weight um, contributes to a lot of of issues in our lives I understand it but it's like when you plus size you can't say that you got a problem with anything cause the first thing folks say is you overweight you need to lose weight they 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 brush you off they don't even want to hear it and I pretty much think that might have been what my first doctor was doing to me because this therapy within five minutes of me talking to him telling him my condition this man went straight to the problem he said it ain't got nothing to do with no arthritis y'all I've been taking so many pain pills I've been taking arthritis stuff um uh, stuff for my bones I finally went uh Miss uh Duchess and got that MSM you was telling me about was taking that I'll take everything for my bone health for arthritis had to take these high power pain medicine and none of it had anything to do I do have arthritis but that's not the cause of the pain oh y'all I'm telling you I cried I, I, I cried because I finally all these years all the in these months I finally brought attention to my knee took off for almost two months out of work no results getting ready to go back to work and my pain in my knee was still the same and you know when you go back to work you done been out for two months them people ain't want to hear nothing about you talking about you still hurt you done been out for two months but i had already prepared myself i knew i was gonna start being in much more pain at work and i was already preparing myself for it i knew i was gonna have to come back and and come home again because i just can't bear it but i thank god for physical therapists if you're a physical therapist, kudos to you. I thank God for this. my first time ever going to a physical therapist. And I thank God for the physical therapist, baby. You hear me? Because that physical therapist, no, I think his name was Tim.